Hey everybody, it's Dan, hope you're well today. So in this video we're going to talk about not being too despondent if you're not getting the views and the engagement that you're hoping for. Hey, hope you're well, just on the way to CrossFit again. Uh, so I was just looking at some of our numbers on YouTube and our, our YouTube uh, numbers generally are pretty, pretty rubbish, right? So I don't know why that is. Um, clearly it's me, <laughs> it's me, not you. Uh, it, it just is what it is, right? So then we're looking at how do we get those numbers up and then, you know, what you do on YouTube is then kind of replicated onto things like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook anyway, right? So for more content that we post, the more views that we get, obviously because we've posted more content, but this is the thing, right? And this is definitely the thing we've been testing. Like in the last couple of days, uh, we got one of our all time highs uh, in the first 24 hours of the video, which was 3,600 uh, views. I think it was three six, might be three two. Anyway, we got a lot of views, over 3,000 views. We never got that before. And the only reason we're getting that now is because we've posted, I don't know, a hundred shorts, like a hundred short videos. And that's basically what you have to be doing. You have to be posting a lot of content and people just don't get this. People are posting the best video they've ever done. And that might be fine. Eventually that might be fine as, as your businesses grow, then your quality of your videos can get better. But if, if you're producing the best video you've ever done, but no one's actually watching your videos, what's the point? Like, I get that it has to be a half decent video and some production values in there, a bit of music and intro and outro, whatever, right? That's very difficult to do on a short. But unless you're spending a huge amount of time on your videos and you're just doing videos all day long and making the very best video and you're producing a decent amount of content of, of videos, but who, who's got time to do all that? I certainly haven't. I've got a business to run, I've got a property portfolio to manage, I've got a wife, I've got a kid, I've got two dogs, I've got a life, I've got CrossFit. Like, no one's got that spare time. So, yeah, it's great for Mr. Beast. Brilliant. Do these amazing videos. Uh, wonderful idea. But I'm not Mr. Beast, and you're not Mr. Beast. And Gary V producing all that content, that's awesome. The only reason Gary V goes and, and talks at an event is because he can get video out of it and a podcast out of it. That's literally the only reason he goes and talks to it at, at an event. And of course, it might be the $100,000 that he gets to stand on stage. But if he was unable to film that content, he wouldn't go do those. Because the content is more important than the money right now. He's, he's got enough money anyway. And he's not after more. In fact, he doesn't want more. And his, his um, profit margins in his business are tiny. Because everything he does goes into creating more content. And that's what you should be doing. Everything you do should be around content. And you go, well, Dan, yeah, I get that, but I've got, I've got clients I need to go meet. Awesome, go film them. Or when you pull up in the car park to meet your client, do a, do a 30 second video. Create that piece of content, start creating content and produce more content and overwhelm your social media channels with content about you about your business about what's going on about how to use your products and services and all that stuff it's vitally important that you do that because you've got to get in front of your customers and that's how you're going to do it it's content 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 and after you've done some content do some more content and after you've done that we schedule it all go right back to the start again and schedule it all back out when i look at the shorts that we've got we've got hundreds and hundreds of shorts that we can then reuse and we're going to reuse them so now we've got a massive amount of content that we can just shove straight out there onto social media because most people don't watch it in the first place anyway so you can reuse the same piece of content anyway work crossfit hope that's useful we'll catch up with you in the next video my name's dan latter have a great day take care